It was very uh, funny to listen to uh, the debates and the discussions. And behind the curtains, it became uh, uh, theological. On the one hand, you had Moses, uh, and on the other hand, you had uh, Islamic finance. Uh, so. Uh, there will be some redundancy. I do apologize uh, uh, for that, but it is important, however, to repeat uh, some messages. Sat on Saturday, Jacques Attali uh, handed out uh, the report on positive economics uh, to François Hollande uh, on Saturday morning. Uh, the uh, French uh, president uh, said, we do not want to eradicate finance. That's good uh, good news. We do not want to eradicate uh, finance, uh, uh, but what I want is not a virtuous finance, it's a fruitful uh, finance. And I find it uh, rather interesting to elaborate on this theme. What about finance? I don't know how it works. The, uh, is finance guilty or not? Uh, people uh, keep saying that uh, finance is uh, the culprit, uh, is responsible for this uh, social and economic uh, crisis, with the subprime crisis consisting of lending money to people who could not uh, reimburse uh, in uh, repackaging all these uh, uh, in the format complex uh, financial products without uh, t uh, taking the risk because uh, the risks are all supported by the economy at large. Uh, so finance, yes, is um, guilty. Uh, but what do we do for that uh, to, to solve the problem? Uh, Joseph Stiglitz and others have been talking about it. Uh, regulation is one solution, was uh, the solution. Regulation, as uh, Philippe has said, uh, consists of uh, uh, splitting banks uh, uh, into uh, the C uh, CBI. Uh, uh, banks and the retail banks, uh, and it consists of uh, raising the equity of banks. So you have uh, different types of regulation of that sort, but uh, the efficiency of uh, this regulation is rather uh, uh, limited. Uh, only 40% of this is applied uh, in the States, uh, so, the in, uh, so there is a limit. Uh, this solution is limited. Uh, the regulation cannot uh, sort out all problems linked to this financial crisis. But finance is not only guilty. Finance is also uh, reflecting uh, the overall behavior of economics. Uh, uh, financial people only put into practice what is uh, the traditional financial theory. And uh, somehow, uh, they are the tip of the iceberg uh, uh, of what Daniel Cohen uh, calls uh, the homo economicus. If you want to uh, remedy this uh, uh, type of uh, finance uh, reflecting uh, the overall uh, uh, behavior of economics, it means that we have to change uh, these economics. We need to have an, a positive economics. That's what we try to do here in this LH forum with the report on positive economics. Uh, we want to change uh, this behavior to, to a large extent, and finance will change accordingly because finance will adapt to it. That's uh, the right track. We have to do that. But we know that's going to be uh, um, uh, quite long. Uh, people are reluctant and within the financial world as well. So a lot of obstacles. Regulation, that's complex. That's complicated. It's not uh, the miracle recipe. Positive economics, it's interesting, but it will take some time. And the, there is a third way I suggest we elaborate on today is looking at finance as as a tool to achieve these positive economics, we see that we need a lot of investments, huge investments, if we want to adapt our economy to a huge uh, challenges linked to uh, uh, demographics and uh, in, uh, environmental challenges and so on. And in order to do so, we need massive investments. So we need. Uh, uh, to to make sure that the money uh, goes or is used for these positive changes. And finance is, in that case, no longer guilty or reflecting the behavior of economics. It can become a toolbox, provided that the framework is uh, consistent. And in order to uh, achieve this positive economy, how do we get there? We need some prerequisites. What are those prerequisites? 
First, finance should put aside a number of uh, dogma. Uh, the basics of uh, the traditional financial theory. The first uh, dogma is uh, the market price, uh, which is supposed to be the fair price, as uh, the, uh, ang uh, the English-speaking community says. The fair price is not a fair price, and we see that uh, quite well. It's obvious the market does not assess correctly, and we have just uh, seen a few examples with Paul Gervion on oils, uh, bubbles do exist, bubbles uh, uh, do uh, break out and uh, there is a problem with uh, the operation of markets. So we have to put aside this uh, market price. But it means everything uh, to, to put aside everything else as well uh, around it because the fair price also means uh, uh, the valuation of companies, the valuation of balance uh, um, balance sheet, uh, mark to market. Uh, each uh, day, each minute, uh, we uh, really Value the uh, we uh, reassess the value of all assets uh, with pro-cyclical behaviors and uh, just uh, strengthening the negative uh, developments in the bubble. So change the valuation models, change regulations which often are pro-cyclical, uh, like uh, the regulation of valuation of insurance companies, for instance, and therefore change uh, what uh, uh, the rating agencies uh, uh, do. Uh, rating agencies exist. Uh, they give um, uh, uh, ratings, but uh, the way we use them, uh, this is pro-cyclical as well. If we were no longer referring, uh, uh, if we, we, if we, we uh, the, the rating agencies would uh, not necessarily have a negative effect if we were to remove all uh, uh, standards, uh, laws, and, uh, and regulations. So put the dogma aside. That's the first point. Second point, uh, finance should uh, take care of the general interest. Uh, finance uh, just justifying it, uh, itself uh, through the services rendered to itself. This um, the circle can no longer operate. Uh, what does it mean? Uh, be a financial expert. It's allocate its uh, capital to projects, to companies, to individuals, and uh, if possible, in the long Term. So where does the money come from? Uh, where does the money come from? What are we going to do with the money? Uh, what are we going to invest it in? Uh, for how long? What to do for? Those questions should be put by uh, the financial experts, and they should have in mind the general interest not the market should uh, be behind that. And it means uh, that it's a long-term approach, because if you want to allocate uh, capital uh, to, to, to respond to environmental and social challenges, and by definition, it's over a long period of time. And in parallel to that, uh, finance uh, is uh, operating on the short term, uh, short term performance. Uh, the objectives are no longer aligned. Uh, the objective of the financial person and uh, the objective of funding that is to say uh, work uh, in the long run. So we have to go back to long-term objectives, uh, and the financial performance objectives should uh, match uh, the uh, long-term objectives of the society at large. And the third point, um, if we want uh, the system to operate, is that we should re uh, 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 the financial markets. What are they useful for? It's to allocate capital. But if we look at the financial markets, especially the equity market, we see that it's exactly the opposite. In the States, in Europe, if you add uh, the uh, uh, buyback of shares and dividends paid out to shareholders, uh, the amounts are uh, greater than the new capital injected. So the market are withdrawing money now the equity market at least, in it, rather than allocating uh, capital. This is an important fact, and it means that uh, the managers of uh, uh, the corporate managers manage their companies uh, according to their share price and destroy, possibly destroying value, um, long-term value. And in the Positive Economy Report, uh, uh, we redefine a company. What is a company? It's not only uh, shareholders. A company should be managed by uh, managers, by uh, managing teams. And those management teams should uh, take care of uh, the interests of shareholders, of course, but uh, the interests of all other uh, stakeholders, uh, their, um, uh, their uh, workers, uh, the, the local um, authorities. 
and so on and so forth. If we have all those conditions met, in that case, one component uh, may be very, very uh, important, uh, savings, uh, to make sure that savings are redispatched to the necessary uh, channels. How can we redispatch uh, uh, savings um, uh, in order to produce positive investments? Let me give you four examples. There might be other uh, examples. Four types of investments, uh, uh, socially responsible. Uh, first, this is the, uh, the socially responsible investment, ISR. What does it consist of? It consists of uh, having an objective, favor or promote sustainable development. So we have just redefined this. Uh, um, uh, um, we said uh, that uh, the uh, socially responsible investments invest in companies uh, or utilities contributing to uh, sustainable development. So there is an objective. How do we do that? We analyze the behavior and uh, the environmental and social performance of companies. Uh, and uh, in, uh, it fa in fact, it means we're going to invest or divest from a company uh, based on this environmental and social analysis. And we will also uh, uh, establish a dialogue with those companies. This is an important uh, point, not only making investment choices, but once we have invested, have a regular constructive dialogue with the companies to improve their practices. The SRI have been very much debated and criticized, and it's a kind of jungle of semantics because you have a lot of words for that and acronyms. People do not really understand what it is. And we'll come back to that in a few proposals when we discuss a few proposals we make. But this is at the heart of the socially responsible finance. Second point, the funding of uh, finance the green eco uh, economy. Energy and environment. Um, you had environmental conference uh, some uh, uh, days ago on Friday, last Friday and last Saturday, and funding uh, uh, almost uh, disappeared from the agenda. A year ago, end of 2012, uh, the funding issue was uh, really a main issue um, in uh, this uh, roadmap uh, towards uh, this uh, energy transition, and an order was placed uh, to Dominique Tron, a former direct, uh, director of uh, the uh, Sustainable Development uh, uh, Secretariat. Uh, uh, we are still waiting for white paper. I hope that this white paper uh, uh, is going to be uh, published soon, but it is a key. We need investments. We need huge investments, and we need to redispatch savings uh, uh, to uh, this uh, green economy. How do we do that? How? Uh, what are the means uh, uh, to do that? You have financial innovation. This is interesting, what we call the green bonds or the project bonds. What, are, what, what, do, you mean, what do we mean by that? If you buy a bond from a state, from local authorities, let's say you buy a, a, t a treasury bond, then you finance uh, whatever the state does without knowing exactly which project you uh, finance. Same for local authorities or even for a company. What is being now emerging is a funding uh, tool, but uh, targeted ones. You're not going to finance uh, such and such local authorities uh, overall, but a number of initiatives which are positive, which uh, contribute to uh, an economy with less CO2, uh, with a greener economy, uh, this uh, green bond market is growing and will grow more and more uh, uh, because uh, a lot of investors now uh, get interested in this market. Third example, uh, social financing. Some months ago, in June, uh, the G8 uh, was chaired by the British, and the uh, British decided uh, to put social finance on the agenda of this uh, G8 summit. This was interesting. Uh, the, the British uh, showed that they were the best in social finance. What is social finance? For the, for, uh, the UK, uh, that's simple. 
the uh, minister explained that. Uh, he said, uh, you have a number of social needs, and uh, the state can no longer uh, uh, meet those needs, and therefore other uh, mechanisms have to cover that, and market mechanisms. There are financial uh, innovations, the social bonds. I've been talking about the green bonds. What is a social bond? Here again, they are bonds. The uh, income, uh, fixed income of which is linked to the success of the social action finance. Let me give you one example. Uh, it was a bond issued uh, in the UK. You want to finance a re-inclusion program for prisoners. Uh, so you buy a bond of, of funding this uh, social re-inclusion program. And uh, the fixed income you're going to get from the bond is um, higher if the success rate is better. So if you so there is a match between the financial performance and the social success in France. Uh, 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 of course, it's uh, somewhat problematic uh, uh, because uh, those social needs are perceived uh, to be uh, met by the state. And uh, so it was very different. Uh, there was a divergence between the this French uh, vision and the British vision. Uh, the British said we have to open uh, it to private mechanisms, uh, and uh, the French said it was more or less the state. But uh, we need a PPP. In fact, so uh, it is on the agenda of the European Commission with the Barnier initiatives around the social uh, economy and based on solidarity, about 10% of jobs in Europe. And we're waiting for the law prepared by Benoit Hamon on the social economy. What is uh, this social economy? We need to have a rather broad vision of uh, this eco social economy so that uh, we can provide uh, funds to social entrepreneurs entrepreneurs becoming more and more numerous and with very interesting uh, initiatives. And third example of uh, these positive investments, I've been talking about the social responsible, uh, socially responsible investments, uh, this uh, the funding of green economy, finance, uh, uh, financing social needs, but there is a fourth uh, type, uh, energized market players. Uh, uh, so uh, microfinance, uh, solidarity finance uh, um, uh, in France, uh, uh, the savings allowed to, in the last few years to develop uh, the solidarity economy in France. Those were a few examples. Uh, those examples were um, positive investments. Uh, let's try and make a few proposals uh, in order to to energize everything and uh, change the scale of this positive investment. Four proposals. Um, there are probably other proposals, uh, and uh, some uh, uh, are mentioned in the report on positive economy. First, we need uh, to be much clearer in the public investments. Uh, uh, the PPP uh, is uh, very important. Uh, there is not enough money in uh, the uh, state uh, budgets. We know that well. So we should have a kind of uh, public and par uh, private partnership. So we need uh, to have uh, clearer objectives. Uh, if you take the example of the European Investment Bank uh, uh, funding the development in uh, Europe uh, uh, those last few weeks, uh, a lot of discussions took place on the energy policy of uh, the European uh, Investment Bank. Is it uh, normal for this uh, European Investment Bank to keep on financing uh, coal-fired um, uh, uh, plants? and the first project to be funded will be uh, highways in the western part of Europe. Is it a priority or should we a more, uh, 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 shall we rather concentrate on renewable energies, for instance? In uh, the report on positive economy, we suggested uh, to convert the PPP into um, environmental and social performance contracts, i.e. having PPP only in those spheres, in social and uh, environmental 
fields. So first, uh, make sure that the public money is used more uh, in a more intelligent way. Secondly, uh, engage institutional investors, especially in France. They are not in, enough acti act active enough in uh, the uh, socially responsible investment. They, um, they have no obligation whatsoever. They do not need to describe what they do from an environmental and social point of view. It is absolutely essential. Pension funds, insurance companies, all institutional investors in France, by definition, they are long-term investments. investors. They should be engaged in order to achieve those objectives. Idea number three, of course, we have uh, to uh, promote uh, stakeholders uh, uh, contributing to positive economy, those, uh, uh, those uh, who are engaged, they need uh, to be helped by public money. And uh, last point, uh, the public at large should understand what is positive economy, what is uh, socially responsible uh, finance, and we need very simple tools. A year ago in uh, the roadmap, uh, uh, a proposal was made to create a socially responsible investment uh, uh, should be created. We should uh, have this label, like in the stores, in the supermarket, you've got labels saying that it's a fair trade product. We should have this as well for investments. Thank you very much.